the challenge of the Yukon. The Wonder Dog King, swiftest and strongest of Eskimo lead dogs, blazes the trail through storm and snow for Sergeant Preston as he meets the challenge of the Yukon. Sergeant Preston was typical of the small band of Northwest Mounted Police who preserved law and order in the new Northwest country where the greed for wealth and power led to frequent violence and bloodshed. But in spite of the odds against them, Sergeant Preston and his wonder dog King met that challenge, and justice ruled triumphant. The early darkness of the North Country had fallen when Sergeant Preston of the Northwest Mounted Police stopped his dog team beside the trading post of old Sandy McDonald near Dawson City. Okay. Hey, okay. With his big lead dog, King, the Mountie entered the store and was greeted by the old Scotchman, who was a friend of many years standing. Uh, hello, sir. It's good to see you again, laddie. How are you, Sandy? It's been six months since I've laid eyes on you and that fine animal, King. Yes, we've been away a long time. Yes, yeah, sit you down and warm yourself a spell. You get hot tea ready. Well, thanks, Sandy. Ah, this fire feels good. I've been on the trail since morning. Uh, just put your pack on that chair and make yourself comfortable. All right. Done, King. Lie down, boy. I'll bet you've been a busy man. Tracing from one end of the territory to the other. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Nothing like black seal on to warm your insides on a day like this. Hmm. Right you are, Sandy. Well, how's the trading business since I last saw you? Well, I can't complain. Oh, there will not be much doing till the laddies come in with their furs in the spring. They say there are some good catches being made up the river. You used to grub stake some of the boys who were trapped in the uh, Five Fingers country, didn't you? Yes, that I did. Do you remember old Henry Page? Old Henry Page? Why, that old rascal hasn't paid me yet for last year's supplies. Have you seen him? Yes, Sandy, I have. I'm afraid you're not going to get your money back. What's this you're telling me, Sergeant? He ain't... Yes. He's dead. They buried him on the west bank of the Lewis River. Oh, tis bad news you're bringing me, Sergeant. And him owing me all that hard cash. But uh, what happened to old Henry? Well, Sandy, last time I saw him alive was in January, when I was investigating the murder of two trappers in the Five Fingers country. I know that district well. These men had been murdered and robbed of their fur catches, and there wasn't a single bit of evidence to show who the murderers were. Each crime was committed either just before or during snowstorms, so we had no trail to follow. I called on three or four trappers in that section, and one day I drove up to old Henry's cabin. He was skinning out some game. Oh, King. Oh, Hello, Henry. Hello, Sergeant. How oh, in damnation be it? I shut up to you and goodness or I'll take an axe handle to you. You've got some pretty fine huskies there, Henry. As good as you be, I guess. I sure paid old Sandy McDonald a good price for him and for everything else I bought from the old cut. Oh, I think you got your money's worth, Henry. Uh, uh, I bet I know why you're here. Uh -huh. You're investigating them turns we had last month. That's right. Can you help me in any way? <laughs> no, no. But I got some ideas, though. Lots of new fellas. Ten defeat, mostly. Been triggered. I don't like it, neither. You've had this country all to yourself until this year, haven't you? Yeah, till last fall. It's getting too darn civilized now. Think you'll move on next year, Henry? Not by a jug full of bears grease. Nobody's running me out, even if I have to... Yes, Henry? <laughs> Nothing at all. But say, Sergeant, I got something in my cabin. I, I want in. Yeah, you... What is it? <laughs> oh, you'll see, Sergeant. <laughs> you'll see. This will knock your eye out. I, I got it back here. Some kind of fur? Yeah, nothing like this has ever been seen in this country that I know of. And I catch fur from Nova Scotia to the Bering and Sea. Look. It's a big lynx, but it's almost white. It is a lynx, and it's white. It's a pure albino. I've never seen an albino lynx before. This pelt will bring you plenty of money at Sandy's. Huh. I ain't going to sell it to that old scalper. 
I'm going to take it outside and get ten times as much. The spell's valuable, Henry. You better be careful with all these robberies and murders going on. Don't you worry, Sergeant. If any of them new fellas crosses my lines, I'll... I'll... What will you do, Henry? <laughs> well, nothing that will hurt you, Sergeant. Nothing that will hurt you. <laughs> Well, blessed old Henry went on to Selkirk. I stayed around the territory for some time. Then one evening I was sitting in the sourdough restaurant eating supper when a man came in. Quiet, King. Excuse me. Are you Sergeant Preston? Yes, I am. Well, they, they said I'd find you here. I'm Sam Shedd. How are you, Sam? Sit down. Oh, thanks. Now, me and my partner, Bill Sharp, have been trapping up in the Five Fingers country. Yes? I've been hustling to get here. Dogs is about played out, but had to get here in a hurry because there's a dead man in my cabin. A dead man? Yeah. Bill, my partner, wheeled him with a club. I helped him. What? You mean you... Now, wait a minute, Molly. We done it in self-defense. Here. See where he creased my neck with a slug? Hmm. Who was it? It was an old coot called Henry Page. What? He had a trap line just a few miles from ours. And tanks, old cuss. Uh... Did you know him? Yes, I did. You better tell me about it. But I should warn you that anything you say may be used against you. I ain't got nothing to hide, Sergeant. It happened like this. Now, let's see. This here's Friday night. On Wednesday evening, me and Bill had just finished washing the supper dishes. Sam, we better skin out these three mink we brought in today. They were froze stiff, but the fire started them out. Yeah. But we're going to be snowed in and hold up for a spell. Sure blown cats and dogs. Yeah. Sounds like another willow I was fetching to come in. Well, who in tarnation is that? Come in. Hello, boy. Well, Henry Page. What are you doing out on a night like this? I got caught out on my trap line. Just as this darn willow was started. <laughs> Thought I'd drop in here. <laughs> Them frozen whiskers makes you look like a snowman. Well, sit down, warm up. Had your supper? Yeah, I ate on the trail. Well, how you boys been doing with your trapping? <laughs> Pretty fair, Henry. Got a lot of rats, some lynx, and foxes, and a lot of prime mink. Hey, that'll make a pretty good steak. <laughs> Especially for a couple of tender feet. Yep, ought to run us close to 3,000, just she stands. And there's a couple of good months left. How you been doing, Henry? <laughs> Me? I've been doing all right. Expect to be doing better, though. <laughs> Henry, put down that gun. What's wrong with you? Yeah, ain't nothing wrong with me, but it will be with you boys soon. I'm going to kill you. Uh, yeah, I'm going to kill you just like I did them other two fellas who thought they could trap in my territory. <laughs> the snow will cover my tracks and I'll have a lot more fur to sell. Grab him, Sam. Yeah, no, you don't. I'll get him. Take that, you old buzzard. <sighs> you got him, Bill. Yeah. I got him all. Well, Sergeant, that's what happened. I see. I died for old Henry's rifle and the shot got me in the neck. Bill grabbed the club that we used for killing game in the traps and clubbed Henry over the head. He went down and didn't get up. You'd better stay here in town tonight, Sam, and rest up. We'll leave for your cabin first thing in the morning. It took us almost two days to get back to Sam's cabin. Bill was standing in the doorway uh, when we drove up. Okay. Hello, you husband. Hello, Sam. Hi, Bill. This is Sergeant Preston. This is Bill Sharp, my partner. Hello, Bill. Glad to see you, Sergeant. It's sure good to see you, fellas. I already slept a wink since Sam left. Come on in. This cabin ain't too warm. Didn't guys make much fire on account of the corpse. Glad you left everything undisturbed. Here's old Henry, Sergeant. Poor old fellow. He was crazier than a whiskey jack, Monty. It's lucky for us Sam got hold of that club when he did. I thought you said Bill used the club, Sam. Oh, yeah. I, I guess maybe I did. I, uh, I guess I was mixed up on, on account of the excitement. You hit him pretty hard. 
Funny you didn't bleed much. Oh, well, I uh, cleaned it all up, Sergeant. It was pretty bad. You shouldn't have touched this thing until I got here. Well, I knew it would take Sam a long time to get to you and for you to get back here. And I... Well, anyway, we were excited. Uh-huh. Well, we'll cover him up now until we bury him. Have you an old blanket around here? I'll get one, Sergeant. Would you like some hot tea or something to eat, Sergeant? No, thanks, Bill. You better get on with this. Now, you say uh, Henry just came in and pulled a gun on you. Yep. He was wild and crazy looking. Said this was his territory and we had no business in it. Said the furs we had really belonged to him. You had a good season? <laughs> I'll say we have. Look at that stack of pelts there in the corner. Hmm? Henry wanted them for himself. Yeah, here's the blanket. I'll cover the body. You've done a lot of trapping, haven't you? I'll have a look at your pelts. Now, this has been the best year we ever had. Fox. Why, that's a lynx. Ain't it a beauty? Yes, it certainly is. Uh, he gave us quite a battle, didn't he, Bill? Yeah. We cut him down near the river. Uh, here's a nice fox skin, too. Mm-hmm. Uh, you think we ought to take Henry's body out and bury him? I'd like to go over to his cabin first. Over to his cabin? What for? I'd like to look at all of Have you been there since? Why, no. Sam left in a hurry, and I just didn't think about it. Uh, don't you think we'd better wait till tomorrow? It's getting kind of late. Not very far from here. You really should have gone over there, Bill. There's a lot of thieves around. They could easily rob it. Maybe they've taken everything out of it by now. Yeah. I should have thought of that. The men come along with me. Oh. Oh, why do you need us? We'd better stay here and fetch something to eat. Yeah, I don't see why you, you want us uh, to... You may have to help bring some things back. Come on, get your park on, Bill. <laughs> Morning, King. Holy smoke, this cabin is sure dirty. Well, Henry wasn't a very good housekeeper. Well, I guess someone got here before we did. Oh, what do you mean? Henry used to keep his furs in this side of the cabin. There aren't any here. Hey, I should have come over and locked this cabin. Some thieving Indian must have got here and stole everything. What's wrong, King? What are you sniffing at? I probably smelled some varmint or something. Maybe some two-legged varmints. What do you mean? He's sniffing at these bloodstains here on the floor. I think old Henry was killed right here. What are you trying to say, Monty? How did you get that albino lynx pelt that belonged to Henry? Albino lynx? Yes, it was his. He showed it to me in this... That's what you said. Help! Take him off! Get away from me! Take this gun! All right, back, King. Get up, Bill. You shouldn't have tried to pull that gun on me. King's trained to watch for that. Get up! I'm arresting you both for the murder of Henry Page. Watch them, King. Sandy, that's what happened to Henry Page. Ah, poor old Henry. But I didn't ken, Sergeant, why they bothered to come chasing after you. Why didn't they just kill the old man and say nothing about it? I thought they were being very clever, Sandy. You see, they were responsible for the other murders. And when they heard I was investigating the case, they thought I'd leave the territory thinking old Henry was the killer. So they killed him in his cabin, took him to theirs. Uh, you and the bunny doggy sure did a fine job, Sergeant. Oh, I can always depend on King for that. Can I, fella? These copyrighted dramas originate in the studios of WXYZ Detroit. And all characters, names, places, and incidents used are fictitious. They are sent to you each week at this same time. This